Everybody has their egg differently, but I want mine naked. Put your raw egg into a clear glass container and pour just enough clear vinegar to cover its top. Now we have to wait while the vinegar works its magic. Luckily, the reaction starts straight away, so you can take a closer look at what's happening. You can see the eggshell has become covered by lots of tiny bubbles. These bubbles make the egg move in the glass and occasionally cause it to do a death roll. This is why I'd advise not putting too much vinegar in at first, as the further it can flow up, the further it can sink again, which increases the chances of the egg splitting due to any imperfections in the shell. It can take anywhere from 12 to 24 hours to remove the first layer, so put it somewhere it's not going to be disturbed and check on it regular. A good indication of progress is the buildup of a frothy scum at the top of your glass, and you may notice your egg surface has become a bit patchier. At this point, you can rub the shell off with your finger, so to speed things up, I wash mine under a slow running cold tap before replacing with fresh vinegar. This revealed a paler coloured layer which starts to undergo the same reaction as before. So how does it work? Well, the eggshell is made up of calcium carbonate, and when we add vinegar, the acetic acid within starts to react with the shell, breaking it down into its two simple parts. The calcium freely moves around the solution and collects as the froth that you see, while the carbonate side of the shell becomes carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide are those tiny little bubbles that you see on the surface of the eggshell. When the egg has gone through the same process as earlier, then you're done, and your egg is finally naked. You may have noticed your egg is looking slightly bigger. That's because the egg semi-permeal membrane has let some of the vinegar solution inside in a process called osmosis. With the naked egg out of the solution, you can see it has an almost rubber ball type consistency. If you take a closer look at your naked egg, you can see the yolk floating around inside. Or better yet, wait until it's dark and shine a light through it. As you can see, it makes a cool nightlight. Or, if you want to check out the osmosis process, then try filling your glass with water and adding some food colouring. After a while, your egg will turn red, but not just because the outside is stained, but because it's red inside, a fact you can check by making the egg bleed. As usual, the details for this video are all available on our site, so if you want to check them out, or just say hi, then the link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video then please leave it a like rating, you can also share your thoughts by leaving a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to share the link to this video using the share the link feature on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with our videos then please click on the subscribe button and on your screen now are two videos for you to check out if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.